Hello world, welcome back to Accelerate and welcome to New Bike Day. But it's not me this time. For once, <laughs> but <laughs> yes, that's right. I've actually bought my first bike. And not just any bike, I bought a cheap Chinese bike. <laughs> the cheapest piece of crap you could <laughs> This was literally <laughs> the cheapest Chinese bike you could buy from new. Uh, as much as people did warn me away from it, I think it's going to need some explaining, but without any further ado, should yeah, we show them? Yeah, show them. Here it is. <gasps> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> now, this feels weird walking around a bike, and I'm going to give you all the details. Now, this is my... Sounds strange. Lex Moto ZSB125. Yeah. Now, yeah, you definitely better give the, uh, the the info on this because I haven't got a clue what the hell no, it is. And you don't really care. Really fast. <laughs> <laughs> so, yep, as you can see, Kenny's got the helmet here on. Yes, I've just had to drive it all the way back from Swindon, which is about 55 miles at around 50 miles an hour. Yes, because... we'll explain that. Yes. Now, yeah, so it's a 2022 Lex Moto, so it's less than a year old. And it has, well, when we picked it up, it had less than 100 miles on yes, the clock. Yes, 95 miles, and that's that is the reason. First of all, I want to say a massive thank you to Kenny, because <laughs> no anyone that knows other bike, um, they recommend the first 500 miles uh, is the bedding process, so you shouldn't go over 55. Now, driving this thing back from Bath, so that is over the Seven Bridge, that, that is on motorways. Yeah, it was. <laughs> so I just want to, I was, asked It was I asked quite Kenny. scary, I was sat there, you know, my helmet, seeing things, ah! <laughs> Just screaming constantly as trucks were passing and stuff, but no, but it was you all didn't. Right. You, you resisted the urge to to, to I boot did. it. I did. Um, yeah. So as Kenny said, there was a lot of things that drew me to this. Now there were a few bikes I went through. Uh, I actually fell in love with a couple and then got disappointed, got messed around, as you do with buying and selling things. Surprising how many were for sale. That were cat ends that wasn't declared. Yeah. So. Be aware of that, guys. And always check. For the sake of a couple of pounds uh, to, to reg check, I reg check everything I do, honestly. It's, there was a bike I almost put a deposit on, done the check, and... Uh, yeah, that's so, the thing yeah. with these noobs. Yes. Like yourself. Yes. You crash them all the time now. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I, I even... Being a 22 plates with 95 miles... I must say 95,000, I'm not used to it. 95 miles. 95 miles. I even done a check on this. It was all fine. And I've been very lucky lately with buying and selling stuff. The owners of this... I mean, what genuine people. Oh, lovely people. Like I gotta be honest though as well she was on about the fact that it's been serviced twice as well in I 95 know. miles less than a year 95 <laughs> miles and let's just show you we've almost doubled the mileage right we've put 50 percent of the mileage on just yeah. on that one journey yeah, just hit 150 miles yeah which is bonkers so we'll run through yeah so 2022 Lex Moto. Now a lot of people are like, oh, it's a Chinese bike, but yeah, I was. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was warned away. I was gonna get. I was looking at Suzuki YBRs. I know they're fantastic bikes, um, but these apparently the engines are solid. Lex Moto is one of those brands. It is a Chinese brand, but they do a lot of research into the parts that they use because it's a British-based ba based brand. But they do a lot of research into the parts they use. So although they're Chinese, I like to think they're a good quality Chinese one. If that yeah, makes any sense, that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> So it comes in this lovely navy blue and the condition, like I said, the only defect, which they did see, um, the driver was a bit tight on this. So it was, yeah, even I struggled to get it out of Yeah, a few scratches there, which is not a problem. I just can't believe 2022 was the newest thing I've ever owned. Yeah. Now, this is now the older generation. So newer generation, now you've got Euro 5. The Euro 4s were 10.59 horsepower. Wow. wow. Because it's a Euro 5, it's got 11 horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still say we take the chainsaw motor out of mine and uh, we check that in, yeah, because I'm totally better, so yeah. Now, these are quoted to get... Uh, Lex Motor reckon, uh, was it, top speed was 56, but they are known to underestimate. I mean, it's a 125. They will happily sit at 70, 65 cruising yeah. speed. Yeah, they will, yeah. So my KDM, I had, you know, like I told you, I was getting late 70s in that on yes. that. Yes. But... Yeah. So this was basically empty fuel wise when we got it and it cost me thirteen pounds to, to fill it. Yeah. And it's used one bar all the yeah. way back. So yeah. And they reckon it'll get above three hundred and fifty miles to a tank. <laughs> <laughs> which, which is insane. It is bonkers. The Fireblade, yeah. That's insane. That used to get about 108. That's insane. To 110, yeah. So, as you guys may or may, I've mentioned it before uh, in the TT600 video, I have, I was going to book my CBT. My CBT is actually booked. So, yes, I bought a bike and I haven't even done my CBT yet. <laughs> but, but it is booked. Yeah, we're ready to go. Yeah, and hopefully it'll fly through. You know, I, I can fly through that. Yeah, it's, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. We're gonna have, that's why it's over here now in this car park. I'm yes. going to show you how to use the clutch and basically how to get it. Because you've always been into bikes and it's surprising that I've mm. never been on a geared bike. Like when we went to Florida, we did the scooters, but that was a twist and go. I've never yeah. done gears. And that's the only thing that's scaring me. Because for those right. car people, much like me, that is your clutch. That 
is your gear selector. So and that should really break down there. So it's all alien to me, but... Yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. The awesome thing about the Lex motor, like I said, yeah, it's a Chinese brand and they're considered budget. This has got a rev counter, which a lot of 125s don't come with. And it's even got the semi-digital display there. So you've got your digital speed readouts, your trip. It's even got a fuel gauge. And a gear selector. And a, yeah, so that's what you're looking for, yeah. yeah a gear selector there. there. It's in neutral. The only thing I noticed with this is like, it's really dark here, like yeah. your neutral light. On a day like today, at least you said you couldn't see anything, did you? No, nothing as, at as all. In, like, on the... And when we picked it up in Swindon, it was it was dark when it was all yes. really cloudy and overcast. Yeah. I still couldn't see it. That's true, yeah. <laughs> yeah, gear so, so it's it's a well-specced bike. And being the Euro 5, there's a lot more laws um, and regulations. So it's like, it's got a catalytic converter and it's got linked braking which means basically when you put the brake it links the two it's really clever stuff so for the cheap bike yeah oh, it yeah, is good it's, yeah, i yeah, keep yeah. convincing myself <laughs> <laughs> So that's the bike in a nutshell. And as I've said, I have never ridden a bike in my life. But now Kenny is going to run me through the basics and I'm going to have a little go with this bike. Like someone's enjoying themselves. Surprising on a back wheel already. I said, I'm surprised you're not on a back wheel yet. <laughs> that is my, I was going to say, my new bike, my first bike, my first ever bike. I know, it's mad, isn't it? I you wish you'd done it earlier now. Though, I really know. do, I, I really do. <laughs> um, but hey ho, I mean, it's just crazy thinking, going up and down there, it's a bit nerve wracking, but it's crazy thinking, in less than a week, I'm going to be out on the road. It's clash. <laughs> Can't wait. Can't wait. It's, it's more daunting than you. You know, it's, than anything though, isn't it? Psychologically. Yeah, psychologically, you make it yeah. worse for yourself. But yeah. like I said, luckily, I trust Kenny with my life and the way you teach. This is why I wanted to get my own bike before the CBT. Yeah. It's killed a lot of my nerves, as Good. in like the stupid, yeah. As I said, you know, considering it was your first time, I think you've done pretty well. You know, you were maneuvering well and your clutch control was getting better, so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wicked. Yeah, it won't be too bad. Well, that's the Nobody's reveal. Good. Nobody as good as me, but you won't be too bad. <laughs> Just wait, give me a week. Uh, so that's uh, obviously the bike reveal. Uh, we'll do the CBT. We'll do my first ride out in a separate video. Yes, I'm going to have to come up and meet you and we'll have to yeah. go for a blast. Yes. Now, as we've said, guys, do not panic. The car content is not going anywhere. Oh, no. It's never going to go anywhere, but this is just something we've always wanted to do. And yeah. it just opens up some more channels for us. Exactly. Uh, so yes, anyway, we're going to go and enjoy this lovely day. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Woo! Woo!